So what we're going to look at in this tutorial is creating and saving different styles that you can apply to either a text box or a character or text itself, um, a frame, and so on. So we're going to take it two basic ones and you should be able to get the idea of how to do it. The first one that we're going to do is text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my text and I'm going to choose a font that I plan to use a number of times in this document. So I'll go up here to the top to some I've used already and I'm going to choose one that uh, I used uh, or I've used before fairly often um, called Booby and it's I'm going to bold it. Uh, size 70, let's go a little, well, size 72, let's go a little higher, maybe up to 80, so it fills up my frame a little bit more. Um, I could do, well, I could change anything. I'm going to do all capitals, and then I'm going to choose a color. Let's go with maybe a dark red. So I've created all these different settings here and whatever I've done up here to create the type of font I want will be saved. So now what I do is I go over here to paragraph styles and I click on that window. If you don't have it, these palettes and more are all under this windows menu and styles are all here. So we have cell styles for a table, character styles, object, paragraph and table. So I just click on, on paragraph styles. Um, if it's not over here, what will happen is it will appear over here in a window and very likely be open like this. And so what I can do then is drag and drop it over here to my palette well and place it where I want it to be so it's there all the time. So what I do is I go to paragraph styles and this button right here allows me to create and save a paragraph style. So I click on that button, it automatically names it paragraph style one. And for text, what I normally do is I rename it. So I can click on it, double click on it, or single click on it so it highlights the text like that if I just want to change the name. And then what I'll do is I'll use the name of the text, uh, usually the color, you don't have to be exact, and then the size just so I remember what it is that I did. If I double click on it, it should open up this window and then I can name it here whatever I want. Um, there's a few other general options you can um, use here as well. And then if you want to go in and change your settings on your font, if you don't particularly like it, you can edit them after you've done. Um, and there's a whole, of course, a whole bunch of different options here that you can use. So I just did a few basic ones, um, but you've got um, all these different options that you can do. So indent and spacing, tabs, uh, paragraph rules, and so on, whether it's justified. Uh, you can create a bullet and numbering list. There's just tons of different options there. Uh, we won't get into right now, but uh, we'll just stick with the basics. So once I've set that up, I click OK and it saves it. So now if I create another text box or um, let's just change this one here. So say I go down and I change it to this text. Oh, that's not a good one. I'm reason that. So this one, um, I go down and change the size to 18. So I've got this text and I said, well, I think I'm going to do something different. All I have to do is with my black arrow, I click on the text box that I want to change. I go over here and click on the paragraph style from the list there and it automatically reloads it up. Right, so I can create a new text box. Um, I can type in it. I can click on it with my black arrow. Go here, I see it just goes to the basic paragraph, the kind of the default. And I click on this and it will automatically change that for me. So it's a very handy thing if you want to use a paragraph style of number of times in your document. 
The second one is an object style and it works pretty much the same. So if I go to my text box or my picture frame, whatever it is, I go up, let's uh, do this one because there's nothing in it. I can go up and I can set my color for my border, choose the size, uh, choose a style. Uh, I can uh, put in a background color, whatever it is that I want to do. Uh, and then what I can do is click on this button again. Gives me, oh, sorry, wrong one. Let's go to object styles. I click on the same button. It works exactly the same. It saves it. Um, I can maybe rename it uh, green and blue. Doesn't really matter as long as it makes sense to you. And you can see I can go in and, and I can um, add more things into it as well. So for example, if I want to add in a bevel and emboss and a drop shadow, I can do that. Uh, click OK. And then it's saved. Then what I do is I click on whatever text box it is or picture box and I click on green and blue and it will apply it to those as well. So whatever settings you want to put in, um, you can do before you create it and then you can go in afterwards and edit and add things to it. And you can see there's tons of different style effects you can put in. So if you're doing paragraphs, you can talk about text wrapping options and so on and so on. So that's uh, stored in the palette over here. You can see I've created a, a second one. It always is going to call it paragraph style one, two, three, or four, or object style one, two, three, or four, depending on what it is that I've done. If I create a second one, you can see it names it too, until of course I rename it. Very handy feature that you have in InDesign.